Let me hear ya. A one, a two, a three. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowds. Hi, everybody. Hi. Closing, uh, close to the end of day two here in Chicago. We hit it pretty hard today. I think we had our steps in, our 10,000 steps by like... Noon. Yeah, mine was closer to one o'clock. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we heat, hit the path. Started out in Millennial Park. Mm -hmm. yeah, kind of a bit of a bummer that they had the cloud gate gated off. <laughs> And the park was closed down there for the kids to play in. Yeah, we have expected that, but at least we got to see the bean, um, you know, kind of experience it. And, you know, instead of it being clogged up with people and having the people in the reflections, you just got the reflection of the city, which was kind of groovy. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's just not the same when you all have to stand so far apart and then when you enter the park uh, they have like security personnel outside making sure everyone is wearing a mask and keeping the mask on the entire time you're there because it's a big popular tourist destination yep I and mean, then we headed on over to uh, navy pier a lot of walking uh, a lot of stuff there was not really running either but that's okay i don't it's not like we were gonna pay to go on the big ferris wheel or some of that other stuff, but it was just neat to walk around, see the sights, see Lake Michigan, mm -hmm. quiz the kids, you know, what's over there, you know. Right. Our brother likes to do that as well. Yeah. And you know, I was, as we're walking along the lake and just hearing the, the waves lap against the shore and just taking in everything around us, you know, I had said to Bella, like, it's kind of silly. These are just buildings. People live here. People work here. But they're beautiful in their own right, you know, with just the different architecture and, you know, looking at the history um, that has that is present in downtown Chicago. I mean, it's just it's it's pretty it's pretty awe inspiring, really, when you think of it that way. I think we even hit Magnificent Mile just to say that we were there, kind of like Times Square in New York. Shopping really isn't our thing. I mean, obviously we live in an RV, like we've said before, we're not really out to get more stuff. Mm -hmm. We're not really into top of the line, fancy stores and all that stuff either. No, we are not fancy people. <laughs> <laughs> we did check out the Disney store. Mm -hmm. That's a fun one for us. Yeah, and the kids got uh, Chicago Disney t-shirts, so that's their little souvenir. Uh, to remember our time here. And it was kind of cool. We stumbled upon a um, Chicago Waterworks building. And fun fact about that building is it was the only waterworks facility to survive the big Chicago fire in the late 1800s. So that building has been there since 1869. So that's pretty impressive. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we're getting old. We're pooped. <laughs> We got done with the Disney store and we said, how about we just head back to the hotel and then see if we want to head back out. Let's go put our feet up in nice cool air and relax. Mm -hmm. And we got here and we're like, you know what? Let's see if somebody will deliver. So we found a deep dish place famous here in Chicago. We ordered some delivery. That's going to be coming here shortly and I think we're just going to relax and watch a movie and head back out again tomorrow. Maybe go i mean that's what it's all about at least for you is the food and we knew if we were coming to chicago we had to try chicago we had to try a chicago dog we also had to try an italian beef sandwich and then of course the chicago deep dish pizza so one two three we got it knocked off the list um and now we can just finish taking in the sights oh yeah more food we also got some stands donuts to go with our breakfast in the morning. 
little tip if you're coming to this Hyatt which we recommend we've liked it so far if you're coming here join their members club and you get a free bit of breakfast every morning I think uh, tomorrow we're gonna go check out Lincoln Park and and the area around Wrigley Field yeah. which I believe is known as Wrigleyville yeah, that'll be a lot of fun because, you know, as you all know, we are baseball fans. And even though uh, they're back in session, they're still not allowing uh, folks to come in to the stadium to watch the game live. And that's okay. But it's still kind of fun to see the stadium or see what you can and kind of have that experience. And then it just gives us a reason to come back again. And, you know, the Cubs Stadium, a lot of folks growing up. If they didn't have cable, their grandma, somebody had cable, you're watching WGN, you're watching the Cubs play, so there's a lot of Cubs fans out there, mm -hmm. and at Wrigley Field is just famous. That's right. And to just go there and take in the sights. And I believe right behind Fenway Park in Boston, this is one of the oldest standing stadiums. So they need an update. No, <laughs> I'm just hit. It's fantastic piece of history right there mm -hmm. again uh, today we were just zipping around on the train on the l as they call it here locally uh and it really not too shabby I, again like new york we were talking about in that video i think we got our money's worth for the amount of rides we're taking for a three-day pass it's twenty dollars mm -hmm. otherwise it's ten dollars per day and i want to say it's 275 per ride but with that pass, you can get on any train, any bus. Uh, so we've been doing a lot of walking, but we've done quite a bit of riding too. So mm -hmm. we're getting our way around the city. It's been uh, fun to ride the public transportation, although kind of smelly. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's like the, the subways of New York. Um, <laughs> everywhere is the bathroom, or at least that's what it smells like. You know, yeah, we ditched the RV, um, but just thankful for this RV lifestyle, this travel lifestyle to, you know, be able to go and see all of these iconic places that, you know, I personally dreamed of as a child, um, but I never thought that it was possible to go, you know, check it off. Now we've been to New Orleans, we've been to New York City, we've been to Chicago. I mean, this is huge. So it's it's been it's been pretty awesome that we could be there. You know, even though buildings are closed, museums are closed, it's just cool to put your feet to the ground and experience it and check it out for yourselves. Millennium Park. Unfortunately, you can't walk right up to it um, because of the visitor restrictions and everybody in the park has to wear masks. But it's still pretty cool to see and experience and check out the buildings reflecting off this famous landmark.
welcome to the Mini Rockefeller Center. to Portillo's, also known for its hot dogs, as well as its Italian beef. Let's check it out. Kids wanted to try the chili cheese dog. First up, Bella. Next, Will. I ordered the Italian beef as well. However, I am not a fan of wet bread, so I got mine dry and I ordered it with peppers. There she is. The weight is better, like a meat. So we did, we always do a little research. And I was on YouTube and I looked up Food Network Chicago. And this came up on one of the best things you ever ate shows. This is a chocolate cake shake. They take a shake and they put an entire piece of chocolate cake in it and they blend it up. Natasha would say, that's excessive. Maybe it is, but it's pretty delicious also. Ooh. Mm -mm. So coming here, really didn't know what to expect because it, from what I. There's a lot of locations Ready? here in Chicago, so Ready? I thought it was maybe more of like a chain. It was pretty good. Yeah, the, the restaurant itself is just kind of a fun place to hang out. It's got a cool atmosphere. They have, you know, different homages to uh, the era when this place was established. And they have like fun swinger style music and jazz and stuff playing in the background. So it was just kind of a fun place to hang out. But the food, was actually really, really good. I'm not a beef person. I'm not an Italian beef type person, but that sandwich was delicious. Yep, and we got the uh, Italian sausage, and we got the wet uh, beef, and even my brother Brian can be a bit of a food snob. And he really enjoyed the Italian sausage. So we all enjoyed it a lot. And yeah, we got to the bottom of that cake shake. That's where the entire piece of cake sat was at the bottom so it's like you finish your shake and then you have a piece of cake so but it, it was, was tasty yeah it was pretty good you know it just kind of uh, reminds you of like when you have cake and ice cream and you just let your ice cream melt 
and have your cake. I mean, that is exactly what it tasted like. And have your shake and eat it too. Mm. So Portillo's, we definitely recommend you stop here on your next visit to Chicago. Old Water Tower. This water tower, completed in 1869, marks establishment of Chicago's second water works. Although most other buildings of pumping system were burned, it stands as a principal memorial of 1871's Great Fire. Our first year homeschooling with the kids, we used a program called My Father's World. And in it, they had lots of free reading books that were about um, several missionaries. And one such missionary was D.L. Moody. So being in Chicago, we had to come and check out the Moody Bible School, uh, just because we read, we read so much about it. Uh, he started out orphaning children and built this big beautiful church and this big beautiful following right here in Chicago. Today is Chicago day three. It brings us to Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. What a better place to find than a statue of Lincoln. That's right. It's uh, in Springfield uh, because he it's the capital and Lincoln lived there for so long we see all kinds of Lincoln statues but it's kind of fun to find it in Chicago too. Let's so, explore. Yeah. A two, a three. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. Hi, everybody. Hi.
Good morning. You hear that? Hold on a second. Let me go shut that up. We were trying to do our live yesterday in Oz Park here in Chicago. And it started raining. Not just rain. It was pouring. And we all got soaked head to toe. Came back to the hotel and... Today, it's like that last day of vacation. Where we're just dragging. Natasha's not feeling well. Our shoes are soaked. We probably should have done that last night, but we're trying to dry them off and so we can head on up out of here. But we had fun. And we were gonna go Find a few other things today, but I think we've seen enough of Chicago for now. But if we decide to come back, we're here another couple months. So now we're just gonna pack it up and get the rope. Well, I'm Natasha. And I'm Bill. With Nursing Our Travel Bug, encouraging you to get out there and nurse what makes you happy. That's all for now. Goodbye, Chicago. Chicago. Not sweet home Chicago. Nice to visit Chicago. <laughs> this is how we roll. Mm -hmm. This is how we. She's crazy. You make me that way, baby. <laughs> That's a pool table behind us. Normally, if it's not COVID, you could probably hang out. Shoot some pool. They got a bar over to our right. Where I assume they serve beverages. <laughs> Why would they have a bar and not serve beverages? Come on now. Is they're Do fancy. <laughs> they're fancy. These are our sniffing beverages. Uh, don't forget Dr. Brown. Dr. Emmett Brown was once a doctor here before he invented the flux capacitor. <laughs> and he took the DeLorean 1.21 gigawatts at 88 miles per hour. Dr. Brown's, oh yeah. I don't know, we're so rambling. We should have come up with a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about random things. This will be fun to edit. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, we pretty do. Okay. That's a little rambly. A I don't know bit. if that'll make the video. I don't know. 